Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Let's Play Layers of Fear Inheritance. Last time we finished the, the hallucinations, I guess? I don't, the memories of stuff that happened in this room. So we said we'd go to my room next time, possibly, and see what other weird stuff is going to happen. So that's what I'm going to do, because I imagine this room has a lot of memories. And this room is very empty at this point. That painting was all blurry. But yeah, as I expected, this is going to be... All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Okay. I'm now, not going to move. Where was it? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she's... <sighs> Keep your head straight! I didn't do that, by the way. The game by, by itself uh, moved to that. So, don't blame me, guy! As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. <sighs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, Dad. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. It moves by itself, by the, the way. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her. As the princess moved, the growl got louder. The witch unleashed her familiar, the Hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air, its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. This is pretty cool. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. As her toys floated. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her, and yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. Her head was near, just outside of view. But our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost... And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. So that was the painting, basically, as we were terrified by all the Satans. That was a really cool section. I, I liked it. I thought at first it was... Oh, this is the room with all the, the, the paintings! Oh, and now we see them through our eyes. He drew them normally, but he saw them as burnt and disfigured. Like, see, like, there's only... This is the only one that he drew that was actual to, to real life. All the others are of her before she was burnt. But they look normal. 
They all look completely normal. Like they're not as disfigured and satany as the ones we saw. Damn. So it really was all in his head. That that that's really cool. I like it. I think it really portrays his his weak grasp on reality really well. Speaking of weak grasps on reality, this is a weak grasp on light. This is just mold, right? It's not painting Satan domain, right? Oh god. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Well, it's locked. It's probably going to be our final destination. N not like in the movies, don't. Don't scare me. Anything in here? Yes, something in here. Mother is in bed, father is being Satan, and I'm in the closet. Locked in. Well, not locked in, hiding probably. Huh. I don't remember that being there. No, you should have seen it in the first game. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Why won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. Whoa. Well, there's nothing playing on it, so I doubt anything's gonna happen, but, yep. I was trying to help you! But then you set yourself on fire! Is there anything interesting in this room? Anything else happening? Anything else going down? Down with the sickness? Oh, ah, 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 ah. Yes, that is the polite version of it. God, that song is so 2000s. Now can I access you? No, you're still locked. Well, I mean, it wouldn't unlock itself magically, I guess. Is there anything else to explore in my father's study? When my light goes like that, I almost have a feeling that there's something around. Any secret passage or panel in here? You really should have this house like liquidated. It seems like you have such terrible memories here and it still has lots of worth, I bet. Oh god, let's read. I, grasping what well, last will and testament, I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow, as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow this, the hellish vermin that infested my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry just like they did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flame that consumed the love of my life, in hope that they will devour him along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls his family. Wow. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul away so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as you always have. Interesting. So he's not completely off his rocker. So this stuff really, by law, does belong to me. Henry Marvin, MD. Relationship counselor. March 3rd, this time we're really going. It's the same that we saw in the last uh, game. Well. You can at least sell the ground that it's on. It's probably in a really good location. I think I said this last time. That was interesting, a little tidbit. Okay, so now what? I'm assuming that this door is still going to be locked. And I'm assuming that there's nothing more to explore in here? Or maybe there is. Is this some kind of... I can grab it, but I can't move it, and the icon doesn't show up. Maybe an oversight on the part of the devs? Okay, there's nothing really here. Is there anything of my mother to read? 
That painting looks suspiciously empty, like it's going to send us to some kind of hallucination. Or memory, or whatever you want to call them. There's nothing in here, right? The paper disappeared! Or is this just not the same one? No, it is! Wasn't there a paper of me hiding in here? Or am I thinking of a different... No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well... Thanks for that, we'll keep going on in pitch darkness. Don't you even tempt me! This is probably still nothing. Uh, where am I going? Do I need to find a key to that room? Whoa! What's happening? Went back to the painting room and this happened. Okay, more memories, cool! Oh yeah, he really wanted me to paint, didn't he? Should I go with the crayons? Ugh, two of the Amatsu. Let's go with my... brush. Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season. What is Where that? they are wiser, have some stories to tell. Green. This is creepy as hell. No! Put that down! You were doing so well! God, you creep! I didn't even know I was picking up! Uh, are there any other colors than deep green? Like, maybe put some autumn colors on them? I think that would be cool. But I can't find any other color than green, and I bet if I do them all green again, he's gonna get a- he's gonna lose his head and go into a fit. I don't even know what that was. Well, let's try. Brilliant! Let's add some more of the same color! That won't make it boring or predictable. You're a douche nozzle. Okay, so I guess I need to find a different color. I mean, that's what I said in the first part, but... I have a feeling the game wants me to keep using green. It's, it's, it's a reflection of what she did as a child. I mean, she was a child. You gotta stop being this way with your kid. Just let them be. Don't make them into a miniature copy of yourself. Because that stuff never works. If anything, it most likely will re lead to rebellion and them hating your guts and never wanting to talk with you again. At least that's what I think. But what do I know? I'm a figment of your imagination. Yep, there are no Oh, here we go. But blue doesn't really make sense to me in that scene. Unless I'm going for the sky! Why did that startle me? It's just a puppy! Okay. Okay, I mean. Oh, they sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser, just like you. You know what, you douche nozzle? Ooh. It's almost like it's breathing. Why did that dog startle me so much? I think it was just because it was a jump scare. It wasn't the dog itself, it was just a loud noise. By the way, I have pretty strong sunlight in my room right now, and it's really dark, so the screen is kinda being all glossy and reflecty, so I can't really see that well. So if I pass the thing that I needed, I apologize. More blue? Eh, why not? He's gonna hate me anyway, might as well piss him off, right? Oh, they sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser, just like you! Well, there was really, there's really nothing else to do but the crayon at this point. No! Put that down! You were doing so well! You're not the boss of me now! What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! This is cool. I'm gonna live in here. 
Let's follow the, the blue ultraviolet brick road. Before I follow it, is there anything here that I missed? Maybe uh, a piece of paper? This. Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? Are you ready to stop being a douche nozzle? There are two paths. What's that on this one? I guess this one's like, don't go in here, it's dangerous. There's a snake. Well, there's a... Okay, so there's, there's a crayon there. Let's try and see if we can progress actually with a brush rather than a crayon. Or maybe we're supposed to carry the crayon. Can I do anything with the painting now? Yes, I can. Oh, what's down the other path? A little bit of exploration never hurt anybody? Except people who are allergic to exploration? There doesn't seem really to be anything down this way. Okay, this can't be that big. It has to be some kind of looping place, right? Friends, I cannot see anything! Yeah, I guess I got lost in the woods. Okay, let's try and paint and then go get the crayon at the end. I don't know if I missed anything in that little forest area, doohickey. Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Okay, screw you, Let's bro. Let's try to find them a more poignant scene. No! Put that down! You are doing so well! Put that cookie down! What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! I am a child! Uh, not this direction. What's the other way? Or was it the other way? I can't remember anymore which one led to which. I think this one led to the... To the snake. No, it was the other one who led to the snake. Sorry, I know I'm being a bit of a spaz, but um, I'm kind of lost. This game is really dark, and the sun isn't helping. The sun, the arch nemesis of people playing video games. Creativity is not a toy, it's a gift. Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there? Yes, leave me alone. I want to be a doctor anyway. Oh, that's creepy. I warned you time and time again. I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles. This is for your own good. Nothing's for my own good. It's for your own good. You want to live through me. That, that, that's the moral of the story. That's a big mouth. Let's watch a puppet show. What's on the show and how can this all end? The answer to these questions and more in the final part. Silent hopes are terrorizing Try to see it all but